Please be seated. Good afternoon. I am Kenna Colley, and I serve as the Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. On behalf of Radford University, I am pleased to convene and welcome you to the 2018 Winter Commencement Ceremony. I will begin with the introduction of our platform party. First, Radford University's seventh president, Dr. Brian O. Hemphill. <laughs> Members of our Board of Visitors, Vice Rector Robert Archer, Dr. Thomas Brewster, and Dr. Rachel Folks. Our Radford University Vice Presidents, Danny Kemp, Vice President for Information Technology and Chief Information Officer. Wendy Lowry, Vice President for University Advancement. Kitty McCarthy, Vice President for Enrollment Management. Chad Reed, Vice President for Finance and Administration and our Chief Financial Officer. Ashley Shoemaker, Chief of Staff and Vice President for University Relations. Dr. Susan Tragesser, Vice President for Student Affairs. Our Deans, Interim Dean Dr. Matthew Smith and Dr. Kenneth Cox. Faculty Senate President, Dr. Jake Fox. SGA President, Juliana Stanley. Our Mace Bearer, Dr. Bill Kennan. And our very esteemed faculty members, please stand. I would also like to acknowledge and welcome Radford University's First Lady, Dr. Maricela Rosas Hemphill. Now I ask that you please stand for the presentation of the colors and the singing of the national anthem by our vocalist, Zoe Jones. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? <laughs> Thank you. 
Please be seated. We will now hear congratulatory remarks from Dr. Jake Fox, President of our Faculty Senate and Associate Professor of Anthropology in the Artist College of Science and Technology. Dr. Fox is also the non-voting advisory member representing our faculty on the Radford University Board of Visitors. Following Dr. Fox, we will hear congratulatory remarks from Juliana Stanley, President of our Student Government Association. Thank you, Dr. Colley. Congratulations, graduates. Good morning. And congratulations to the class, the winter class of 2018. I want to offer my informal congratulations as well to the College of Humanities and Behavioral Sciences for winning the annual hat decorating contest. The it's an unannounced award. I just came up with it myself. But. Uh, welcome graduates, welcome parents, family, spouses, and friends of these graduates. Today is your day, and I'm happy to be here to celebrate it with you. It's my privilege to speak to you all today on behalf of your mentors, your professors, your friends, your faculty. I must admit, it's always a tall order. Imagine trying to be the voice of this diverse, talented, and occasionally unruly bunch of academics. And nonetheless, I will try, and I'll keep my comments brief. This graduating class comes from many diverse backgrounds, and represents many academic disciplines. Your futures will be even more varied. You'll be moving on to far-flung places, jobs, postgraduate programs, and countless adventures. Some of you might not be sure exactly what comes next, and that's OK, too. We, your professors and mentors, are confident that you're all going to be just fine, and we cannot wait to see the places that you'll go. It's our greatest hope that no matter how varied your futures may be, each of you will take from your Radford experience some things of tremendous value. It is our hope that today does not mean the end of your education. It's our hope that during your time here, we have helped you develop the skills you'll need to become lifelong learners and critical thinkers. But what are those things? A colleague once described these to me as a, a habits of the mind. Lifelong learners always take the next opportunity, the next adventure, the next stage of personal growth. Like critical thinkers take the time to reflect upon world events, the opinions of others in themselves, and their own actions. It is my firm belief that lifelong learners and critical thinkers do not merely enjoy more successful careers, although they do enjoy that. They also continuously grow to become better citizens, more sensitive parents, more supportive friends. These are the fruits of higher education in the broadest sense. And I say to all you graduates today that the world needs lifelong learners and critical thinkers now more than ever. I believe you'll all rise to this challenge. In addition to wishing you congratulations today, I also want to say thank you to each of you graduates for choosing and investing in Radford University. It has been our privilege to work with you, to teach you, and to learn from you. This, <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> this place has been changed by you. Uh, by your contributions inside and outside of the classroom, your success has made Radford University a better place than it was before you arrived here. Your success is truly our success. I also want to thank all of you parents, family, spouses, friends, who have supported these graduates in so many ways on this journey. Thank you for your investment in these graduates and in Radford University. And finally, I want to thank my many colleagues and coworkers who do so much to make Radford a special place. I mean not only the faculty whom I represent, but the many staff and administrators from so many different divisions. Student affairs, our police force, information technology, our groundskeepers, academic advisors, counseling services, housekeepers, to name just a few. So many of these folks go about their work quietly such that you could almost not notice them in your four years at Radford. But all are critical to creating the environment of learning and discovery that makes Radford such a special place. Even if we didn't notice them at times along the way, all of these teams have contributed to the success of the graduating class of winter 2018. Finally, I want to remind you all that today does not have to mark the end of your Radford experience. Come back and visit. Stay involved, Highlanders. We, your faculty, will surely miss you. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations to all of your family and friends, and warmest wishes to you all for a great holiday season. You have kicked it off in style. It's a great time to be a Highlander. Congratulations again.
Thank you, Dr. Fox. Good afternoon. I appreciate this opportunity to provide some final thoughts on behalf of the Radford students before you walk across the stage today. Throughout your time here at Radford, so much has changed. The naming of the Sandra C. Davis and William C. Davis College of Business and Economics, the announcement of the merger of Jefferson College of Health Sciences into the Radford University family, family of colleges and departments, as well as the new Center for the Sciences building and the naming of the Artist College of Science and Technology. Outside of the obvious physical changes at the university, you have changed. You are not the same person you were when you started here. You have made new friendships, gained new knowledge, and made meaningful connections. And you are leaving more aware of your purpose in life. As you prepare to take that walk across the stage today, I want you to just take a moment to contemplate what your time here has meant. There is no doubt in my mind that each person will have a different response. I am certain that being a Highlander means something different to each of you. Maybe it was learning how to be a leader, realizing your full potential, or even finding your true passion in life. There may even be a few of you who are not quite sure what you will be doing in the near future, but it doesn't matter because you are ready. Your Highlander experience has prepared you for the future. You are a combination of every professor, every friendship, every frustration, and every, every positive and negative interaction over the past several years. I encourage you to keep these memories as a foundation to stand upon. It is true that Radford University will always welcome you back, but most of all, we will remain with you as you continue to pursue your goals. Don't forget to let us hear from you and your future success. We will always be ready to celebrate a member of the Highlander family. Congratulations, class of 2018. Thank you, Juliana. This is one of the most important and joyous days in the life of a university. All of us are here for one very, very special reason, to recognize and honor Radford University's class of 2018. At this time, I would like to recognize those graduates who exemplify the best of Radford University. These young scholars have worked very hard for this recognition, only from Radford, but very hard for this recognition, not only from Radford, but also from national honor societies. Those of you who are graduating with cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude, Latin honors, those who are graduating with distinction and those who are receiving honor society recognition, please stand and be recognized. Last night, the College of Graduate Studies and Research held its winter commencement and hooding ceremony with Interim Dean Laura Jacobson presiding. This, the Graduate College offers challenging, accredited, and flexible programs that help our students earn doctorates, masters, and educational specialist degrees by putting theory into practice, developing competencies, skills, and confidence through hands-on experience and real-world application. Now, it is my privilege to begin today's ceremony in which the university will award our undergraduate degrees. I invite to the podium Radford University's president, Dr. Brian O. Hemphill. And now, will the graduates, will the candidates for graduation in the Radford University class of 2018 please rise and remain standing. President Hemphill, I nominate these candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Dr. Colley, by the authority vested in me by the Radford University Board of Visitors as president, I hereby formally confer upon each degree candidate, together with their fellows in absentia who have been certified by the faculty as having successfully completed the prescribed requirements for the Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Arts of Science, excuse me, and Bachelors of Science in Nursing for which they're eligible. Accordingly, you're invested with all of the privileges and responsibilities appropriate to that degree and at this moment become alumni of Rapper University. Congratulations.
Now, it is customary that you move your tassel from the right to the left, signifying that you've earned your baccalaureate degree. Please be seated. At this time, we will recognize graduates individually by their college. Graduates, we will ask that you stand and ascend to the stage one row at a time. Please watch the marshals who will provide you with guidance. We ask that all members of the audience remain seated throughout the ceremony. A photographer will be at the stage to record each special moment. It is now my privilege to recognize the Interim Dean of the College of Humanities and Behavioral Sciences, Dr. Matthew Smith. At this time, I proudly invite the graduates in the College of Humanities and Behavioral Sciences to please come forward and be recognized individually. Graduates from the college develop critical competencies and habits of mind that serve them well throughout their academic and professional careers, as well as in their personal lives as productive citizens. Donald Lee Stewart. <laughs> Hannah Elise Whited. <laughs> Emily Dawn Pierce. <laughs> Brittany Alyssa Miller. <laughs> David Delano Slifer. Carolyn Mary Pointer. Jacob Joseph Pert. William McCadden Pritchett. Sophia Isabel Martinez. Leah Hope Hagen. Zachary Dulaney. Joel Trio. Nicholas Frank Trio. Austin Robert Fox. Thomas Patrick O'Brien. Raven Chantel Moore. Darnell Robert Wilkins, Jr. <laughs> Taewon Patton. Uh, sorry. Avani Montia Thompson. Chanel Salazar. Andrea Celeste Gomez. Malik Nigel Warner. Savannah Dove Frazier. Maggie Wilborn. Samantha Joe Mayhew. Alan Parker. <laughs> Tiffany Mercado. <laughs> Alana Reese Dye. <laughs> William Jeffrey Dietz. <laughs> Mark Branson Smoot. Cameron Darnell Eggleston. Ramsey Cole. Carl W. Miles. Madison Bell Griffin. Luke Edward Hayes. Morgan Hartman. Joseph Paul DeHart Mabe, 
Casey Hammond. Sydney Graff. Josu Solomon Diaz. Caleb Seth Berry. Gabrielle Alexandria Amy. Craig A. Edwards. Lindsay Noel Cadel. Emily Constance Preston. Jacob Nicholas Deanne. Jeremias Bencomo. Joshua Scott Moore. Jordan L. Bragg. Janelle Renee Edelin. Emily Nicole Black. Matthew Hedgepath. Akia Monet Harrison. Lucas Edward Goad. Ken Kenneth Edward Novi. Kieran Matthew Roberts. Frank Philip Van Curren. Jamie Laurel Pugh. Kelly Ann Parcell. Bianca Lynn Beerus. Hillary Dawn Jones. John Tyler Wukic. Trevor Austin Reynolds. Nicol N Nicholas Andrew Penninger. Christopher Luckett. Nicholas Andre Stelly. Blake William Flincham. Patrick Thomas Vasquez. Gabriel Dustin Linneberry. Hannah Paige Martin. Shiza John Mansoor. Brigitte Tiet Manga. Alexander Michael Davis. Zachary Jeb Martin. Bria N. Dent. Samantha K. Ketchum. Flora Elizabeth Papadimitru. Jordan T. Campbell. Caitlin Elizabeth Brady. Kara A. Kincaid. Skylar Ann Sochka. Renee Alexander Turpin. Taylor Jordan Frazier. Rachel Paige Tabor. Lauren Reina Vermeer. Allison Marie Rosenbaum. Ebony Lakia Esanmanloa. Mohammed Nadia. Epiphany Amani Rebecca White. Ashley Nicole Williams. Shania Williams. Oh, Shania Williams. Cornet. 
Corin L. Long. Nicholas Alexander Wilson. Brittany Nicole McPeak. Laura, Laura Jean Martin. Benjamin Thomas Hargett. Emily M. McCann. Caroline P. Cole. Erin Elizabeth Sweeney. Courtney Marie Watts. Lauren Virginia Magnolia Corbin. Zachary Carter Johnson. Jackson David Haymore. Lacey Rose Day. Suleiman Balde. Mariah Celeste Quintero. Nathan Blake. Daniel James Cardwell. Dornia. Okay. Dornia Halatai. Savannah Rains. Austin Kyle White. Benjamin Nan Gordon Edward Lee. Amanda Kate Moriarty. Ka Kayla Nicole Crow. Tamara Ann Burwell. Tyrone Frederick Lewis Kirkland. Seth Logan Harper. Madison Patrice Thomas. Cheyenne Michelle Huff. Uh, Samari G. McCuria. Rebe Rebecca Diane Rice. Jose Mustafa Bonsu. Haley Michelle Laird. Savannah Joe Sexton. Patrick Logan Bryan. Carrie Grace Caldwell. Trevor Hayes Johnson. Elizabeth Ann Blake. Nicole Lynn Manley. Anya. Anya Nora Kohler. Kristen Yoon Fowler. Berkeley Ann Connor. Taylor L. Golden. Jordan Ryan Twisdell Clark. Yeah. Heather Renee Sayers. Yeah. Charles Ryan Eads. Yeah. Joshua Amadeo. Yeah. Jessica Angela Alvarado. Yeah. Brittany Cobble. Congratulations, graduates.
It is now my privilege to recognize the Dean of Waldron College of Health and Human Services, Dr. Kenneth Cox. It is my honor to invite the graduates in the Waldron College of Health and Human Services to please come forward and be recognized individually. Our college prepares highly competent and ethical practitioners dedicated to enhancing the quality of life of individuals, families, and communities. Marshall R. Wigfall. Allison Cole. Emily J. Sharp. Catherine Sarah LaVon Cragen. Megan Christine Rostick. Delaney Dawn Cook. Ashley Noel Irvin. Eden Durnil. Charlotte Ann Moody. Courtney Taylor Stover. Serena Ruth Shantz. Caitlin Marie Wampler. Madison L. Chastain. Darby B. Farish. Catherine A. Jennings. Nina Bolt. Connor Elizabeth Williams. Whitney Clements. Kathleen Margaret Oreck. Abigail Taylor Clark. Savannah Rose Miller. Megan Lee Hall. Diane Marie Nestor. Brooke Elizabeth Hutchinson. Gabrielle Marie Woods. Brooke Denise Tanner. Emma Caitlin Birch. Gailey Lee Stocks. Daisha Malena Williams. Brianna Nicole Graham. Aubrey Michelle Kessner. William Logan Conscious. Destiny Kyota Mitchell. Brooke Danielle Thomas. Shana Louise Palmer. Congratulations, graduates. It is now my privilege to recognize the president of Radford University, Dr. Brian O. Hemphill. Let me begin by saying good afternoon and congratulations once again. One more round of applause for our graduates.
As your president and a lifelong educator, commencement is one of the most rewarding times for me personally. It's a time when the hard work and pride of so many are evident on the faces of our graduates and our families. Graduates, as each of you contemplate the unique journey ahead of you, I would like for you to think not only about the vital role that you will play in society, but more importantly, the communities that you call home. Throughout your personal and professional lives, you will have an opportunity to meet a diverse cross-section of humanity. And I'm confident that the world will find in you what they find in so many Highlanders, a dedicated pursuit of lifelong learning, an unwavering champion of social justice, and an unparalleled drive for discovery and innovation, and an immense passion for the betterment of mankind. Your Radford education developed your ability to listen with a critical ear and think with an open mind. It prepares you for life of service, not only to self and family, but to those in need. And I'm confident that you will take your Radford values with you on the journey ahead. I urge you to continue making education a lifelong pursuit. Update your knowledge base and stay current in today's fast-paced, ever-changing global society. Contribute more meaningfully in your role as parents, partners, as well as community leaders. Now, I know that this group of graduates has the potential to not only meet these expectations, but exceed them. The great discoveries will be made by you. The foundation for a better society begins with you. As your membership in the Radford family evolves with the day's transition from student to alumni, my hope is that your pride will continue to grow. Please know that like everyone here today, I'm immensely proud of you and know that you're ready for the challenge ahead. Family members, join me in acknowledging our graduates again. One of the this is one of the reasons I love our students. I tell you, I love them. Please join me in expressing a genuine sense of gratitude for another group of very special people. For several semesters now, they've worked hard and worked closely with you in your pursuit of a college degree here at the campus of Radford University. They welcomed you into the classroom. They shared their knowledge with you. They invested in your life. Please join me in giving a warm round of applause for the efforts of your dedicated and outstanding faculty. Thank you. May I also take this opportunity to express to all the parents, spouses, children, family, and friends the gratitude and appreciation we feel for your loyalty and support over the years. Please stand as you're able and allow us to acknowledge you. All of our parents, family members, friends, please stand as you're able. Please be seated. Graduates, and if you've expressed gratitude to your faculty, your parents, and your loved ones, I ask that you always remember your alma mater, remember your many accomplishments that you had on this campus, and remember the fond memories that you experienced in everything that went on, on this great within this institution. You are now graduates of one of the finest universities in the country. Yes. Your degree from Radford University will take you far, as far as you want to go. Please take a moment and look around this room and know that you're not alone. You are supported by family, friends, faculty, staff, and mentors. Remember, with their help, you must stay the course even during difficult times. So I challenge each of you to see the world through fresh eyes. Always allow yourself to live the rich and full life that you're truly capable of with passion and clear purpose. God bless each of you and go Highlanders. Thank you.
ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you stand and join in the singing of our alma mater. Please remain standing while the platform party recesses. The faculty will follow the platform party and they will be followed by our graduates. We would also like to thank the faculty and student marshals, our organist, Dr. Matt Cataldi, our vocalist, Zoe Jones, our interpreter, Lori Graham, the Army ROTC Color Guard, and Dr. Tim Channel and the Radford University Highlanders Pipes and Drums for their participation today. to the 